Okay, if you are planning on traveling abroad, you know it can be expensive. From Paris to London to Rome, there's always so much to see when you're traveling and usually not enough time or money to do it all until now. So Consumers Checkbook analyzed 100 different airlines and they found 26 of them allow free stopovers. These are cities that are usually where the hub is for that airline. So let's say you're taking a trip to Paris. You could also see the sites in Madrid if you schedule a stopover when flying Iberia Airlines. If you're flying Air Canada, you can stop over in Toronto. Taipei is another stopover if you're flying China Airlines or Eva Air. There's also Dublin and Dubai, depending on which airline you choose. Consumers Checkbook says most of these airlines are owned by their nation's government or they're subsidized, and they offer these free stopovers to boost tourism. The difference is instead of just doing a long layover, you're actually baking into the price of your ticket this ability to stop over for four to seven days before you continue on. So it really lets you buy you know, two destinations for your vacation for the price of one. The most well-known free stopover is Iceland Air. It lets you stop in Iceland on your way to Europe. Some of these airlines also subsidize hotels for discounts, too, or you can find hotel deals through travel sites like Hotels.com or Kayak. So to find these free stopovers, you do need to book them through the airline's website. You're not going to find them on Google Flights or some of the travel booking sites. Some of the airlines have them on a separate booking page, and some of them you actually have to call the airline. So I've got more on this on fox26houston.com. Delon?